welcome back everyone to another episode another session and this time we are going to talk about success mindset and as as i told you that so mindset is a big uh, ocean right it's a huge deal a deal it's not it's, it's like i can't put mindset in four five pointers or six principles it's it's a big thing but what i want you to do i want you to share a few principles with you which you can implement in your life right away okay so we can deal with mindset like this only we have to take one thing one piece at a time one step at a time okay so take it as a first step and start working on your mindset with this okay all right let's start this in this particular video in this particular session i'm going to share a few principles with you few very simple you might be knowing about it obviously it's not a rocket science but i want you to take it as a reminder as well that yes i know this but i am not applying it so knowing without applying is not knowing is equal to not knowing okay so it's it, take it as a reminder if you know it already if you don't know it now uh, just take these principles and try to apply it in your life i don't want you people to apply each and every principle each and everything which i'm going to share in next 20 15 minutes you have to take two three things only and then start implementing because just consuming information is not enough you already know it because you people are consuming a lot of information because we are in a information era right we have information we are surrounded with information but knowing things is not enough just try to know 20% and try to put your time on application 80% time 80 20 principle learn 20% and apply 80% we mostly we people do opposite right we learn 80% time and we apply it only 20% please try to uh, do opposite all right with this let's start the session now the first principle i want to talk to you about is take charge of your life you know most of us think that most of us blame our situation to someone else to the situation we make excuse we blame we complain that my life is like this my life sucks this and that everything happened to me like this only you know uh my fate is like this only you know so to all those people if you got these kind of thought that if something is not going you know according to my plan then don't give power to someone else you know take charge of your life i just want to tell you you have to take charge of your life don't give power or control of your life to someone else to universe to god no take charge just think about what i can do because whatever action you are taking whatever you are uh, facing right now whatever situation you are in it is because of your past actions simple as simple as that whatever you are in right now whatever situation you are in it is because of your past actions directly or indirectly whatever you are going to get in future it is because of the action you will take right now so you have to control your life you have the power to control your life i just want to tell you this don't play the victim huh? don't play the victim that it happens to me the negative self talk don't do this you know you are the creator of your life you have the 100% control over your life take charge of your life if you think that okay my life is not uh, what i want right now it means that you are not putting efforts of that level you have to raise your standard you have to raise your levels you have to put more efforts you have to refine something you have to tweak something in your life all right it's like a radio frequency if you if i want a particular channel in fm then i can't say without putting some time in adjusting that like right now we have the scan and everything in fm as well the older uh, in you know uh, few few years back in 20 20 years back we have that radio set you know in which the it is not going to scan it automatically right right now we have radios which can scan things automatically scan all the channels automatically and we'll get it but at that time we have to put 
some efforts right until and unless we switch tweak something and we put down that uh, into into the same frequency we are not going to get that fm channel right similarly we have to put efforts until and unless we fix that match that frequency which we want okay so if you are not getting what you expect that means you have not matched the frequency yet how you can do it it is in your control you have to take and tweak your actions consistently all right and for that what do you have to do self discipline the best thing cultivate self discipline practice self discipline make your self discipline muscle more stronger yes it's like a muscle right when when we start working in a gym at the first one week it is like hell for us right because we are working in in uh, the muscle which we have not worked before this right so similarly self discipline right now is hell for us because we have not worked in it right now we have not properly worked on our self discipline muscle till now but as you start consistently putting effort in that particular muscle in one month six months one year time you you can build that particular muscle right you will become more stronger that muscle become more stronger similarly if you practice self discipline in each and everything from every day consistently you will build it in one month six month one year it will grow and it will become more and more stronger that will lead to the point where you can take the total control of your life because now you are disciplined you can consistently take make efforts to change your life okay so please uh mind the three things don't play victim in your life because life is not happening to you it is happening for you okay so please don't play victim you are the hero of your life you have to take control of it take charge of your life you are the creator of your life and please for that cultivate your self discipline muscle in everything whatever you do if you think yes i want to do meditation every single day if you are not doing meditation it is impacting your mental health as well as as well as your self discipline okay so if you think to do something please put all the efforts to do it you have to take efforts if you want to take a leap you have to take efforts okay all right next principle i want to talk to you about is don't confuse your brain don't confuse your brain as in what we do um, when we got motivated like for example you are into a sunday mastermind in our inner circle community and after this session you are going to plan your next week you are motivated you got some pointers you think yes i want to apply all these things next week you got motivation and after that you write down okay this is what i'm going to do next week as soon as tomorrow you will do great day after tomorrow tuesday you will you will do great wednesday thursday your motivation drops and then if you if you don't uh put down all those things in action it will confuse your brain that whether you want to achieve this goal or not don't confuse your brain don't send mixed messages to your brain i'm telling you again one more time what is mixed messages is when we got motivation we write down our goal that okay i want to uh, make this much of revenue in next quarter this is my goal very motivated one week i worked really hard for that goal after that as soon as my motivation drops what i do i don't replicate those goals in my actions that affect my brain that send signals to my brain that okay first uh, brain understand okay this person want to achieve this goal yeah he is very motivated and he really wants to achieve this goal after when your brain see your actions your brain is like no i think he does not want it right when you think i want to achieve this at the same time when you think it is not possible for me to achieve this much revenue you are sending mixed messages which hampers your productivity which hampers your growth mindset okay because in our mindset positive like when you set goals when you write down tasks and everything when you plan things 
it you give positive signals to your brain but when you don't take action accordingly when you think negative when you doubt yourself when you doubt your goals you're sending negative emotions as well so result is neutral now your mind is not going to help you your brain is not going to help you to achieve that goal because it plays neutral okay i think i think you don't you're not that serious so please don't send mixed messages to your brain don't confuse your brain align your actions with your goals align your actions with your goals if you write something the simple thing is here yeah, i love one thing from vishen lakshani as well that uh, it is not about law of attraction it is not about law of attraction it is about law of um, what do you say like he used to say that if you want something first be the person to get that like if i want a particular revenue in my business i have to act like someone i have to act like someone who is getting that revenue every single month or every single year whatever so be the person you want to be uh i don't uh, remember the name of that law but uh, it is it is very cool concept and it is very actually it is a, a very good thing you know don't just think about what i want try to be the person who will get what you want okay and try to be the person i means you have to send messages to your brain with your actions with your routines with your habits with your discipline with your behavior with your consistency and everything whatever you are doing you have to be like that person you want to become when you're talking you want to talk like that person when you're walking you have to walk like that person and you will attract that personality attract all the outcomes what you whatever you want okay eliminate negative influences because yes definitely you are motivated you are passionate about something you want to do something in your life you don't don't just want to eat survive and die right but there are people who will because you know it's it's uh, we are social animals we have to live with society there are people you will see that which is going to pull your legs no this is not possible this is not humanly possible for you it is not possible right you're not that uh, you, know, you you can't become you can't achieve that goal there are a lot of people you will see in your family in your relation you know in your friend circle who will pull you back who will if affect you negatively so please try to eliminate those negative influences all right now the next thing here is don't fear of failure it is easy to say difficult to apply implement because everyone fear failure there are lot of fears one person has and one of the most common fear is fear of failure but ultimately you have to you know it already you know it already that if you want success you will fail multiple times to get that success you don't have to fear that failure it is part of life as soon as you accept it as soon as you accept that yeah it is part of the journey failures are the part of my journey right it's okay it's fine uh, for example um if okay for example if you if you want to reach like uh, from hyderabad i have to go mumbai for example i have to go to mumbai from hyderabad and i i took a train uh, the the fastest train maybe uh, one of the fastest train in indian railways i took that train that i want to reach early there were no particular flights in that time so i took the train uh, it is 7 hours journey 8 hours journey and now because my goal is to reach mumbai as soon as possible that doesn't mean that i will think that okay no 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 i don't want train to stop in any station no train will stop in the destination wherever it is uh, scheduled and you know, no train will stop in all those stations i have to accept it that the yes, train is going to stop but still i will reach on time the train will make me reach on time so you have to accept it that fear uh, don't fear the failures accept it that there will be failures now what i have to do 
I have to face those failures. I have to learn from my mistakes. I have to learn from the, all those previous failures and I have to conquer it the next time. As simple as that. For example, when you're very young, like I have a kid right now, uh, seven months old, is barely start uh, crawling right now. Okay. He can't crawl properly. If I if I think that, uh, you know, why he's not running and why he's not walking properly, it's not possible. It's a journey. He has to go through that journey, right? I accept it that there will be failures. He will fall, right? So accept it. Face it and conquer it. It is not as difficult as we think, right? It is very easy. You have to just accept the fact that failures will be there. It's a part of the journey. Accept it and go with it. Look for opportunities, not obstacles. Yes, one more very, very important thing here is you have to look for the opportunities. Don't look for the obstacles. Because again, you know, when we plan something, when we plan things, our neck, we have two mind, right? One is positive, one is negative. Now the negative one is very active. Negative one, as soon as you try to plan something, negative one will stand up and tell you that, okay, these, these, these are the things. This is how you cannot achieve your goal, right? Hundreds of reasons you'll get. You won't get many reasons to achieve it. You get hundreds of reasons how you cannot achieve it. But you have to train your mind for positivity, for opportunities. And anything, look for the positivity, positive side. You know, don't look for the negative one. Develop a solution-oriented mindset. Whenever you got a negative thing, try to think, okay, how I can... Uh, Tackle this obstacle. How I can overcome this obstacle? Okay. This is obstacle? Okay. All right. No issues. Now, how I can overcome? What I can do to overcome it? Just think about that. Develop a solution-oriented mindset. Very important. Think about rewards over risk. Don't just think about, okay, what if I lose this particular war? What if I lose this particular challenge? What I will risk, I'm risking in it. My time, my energy, my money, what, what things I'll risk, I lose. Don't think about that. Think about what if I win this thing, if I win this game, if I win this challenge, if I accomplish this goal, what is the reward I'm going to get for, from that? Okay. Focus on reward. Focus on uh, the opportunities. Focus on, because wherever you will focus, like there's a saying, right? Where your focus goes, uh, sorry, where your attention goes, focus flows. And the thing where you're focusing that grows. If you focus on obstacles, your obstacle will grow. You are giving power to that obstacles. If you focus on the opportunities, your strengths, if you focus on your strengths, your strengths and the opportunity will grow and you're giving now power to your strength and opportunity. If you want to grow failures, focus on that. If you want to uh, grow success, happiness, focus on that. Wherever you will focus, the particular thing will grow in your life and that's for sure. And stay open-minded. Don't be closed-minded. Don't just think about one thing. Take all the information, grab all the information, Segregate into positive, negative, what, what is good for me, what is not good for me. Take everything, segregate it, and then focus accordingly which you want to grow. Sim as simple as that. So simply focus on those things which you want to grow in your life. Give your 200%. Now, now you'll say, okay, Satyam, there is no, nothing called 200%. Yeah, I know that 100% is the maximum. But I just want to tell you 200%. To let you understand what I mean, right? Just try to uh, absorb the feeling, uh, my thoughts, my emotions, what I mean with this. Give your 200%. You know, give, like, 
if you're working in some project for some goal, if you want to chase down some goal, uh, while going to your bed after your work day, you would feel like, okay, this is really, I have com- accomplished this, 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 all these things today. So that's what I mean by give your 200%. Give your best. Best of the best. Whatever you can. Commit to excellence. If I'm doing one particular thing, first of all, don't think about the big goal, huge goal. No. Chunk it down into small steps, a small task. And when you're thinking about that one particular task, think about how I can give my 100% and how I can do this particular task the best way possible. The be- not the best way how what I can do. No, the best way possible how I can give to this particular task. Just focus on that. Commit to excellence. Because you want excellence, you have to create, do something excellent as well. Right? Push yourself outside your comfort zone. Very important. Again, give your 200%. And 200 percent you can't give in you know in sitting inside the box comfort zone, right? You have to get outside it. Right? Push yourself. Give your best. Do whatever you can do to achieve that goal. I always say don't focus on the outcome. Oh, you know, you can only control the controllables. Don't try to control the things you cannot control. Outcome you cannot control. What you can control, your actions. So take actions in such a way because action is the only thing you can control. So give your best in that at, at least. Okay, give the, your best in that. And then forget about everything. Don't try to think about outcome. Whatever you can do, do your best. That's it. All right. And raise your standards. If you really want to become Another personality, that person which is more evolved personality than you, if you really want to become that version of yourself, you you can't become the you know next version of yourself in next day. Like today, I'll just go to sleep after watching this uh, session. And tomorrow morning, I'll wake up as the next version. No, it is not going to happen. So don't wait for that overnight success or overnight changes or overnight, you know, upgradation of your personality or your version okay if you want to become the better version of yourself you have to raise your standards in everything you do every single day whatever you are doing in your daily life try to raise your standard because if you keep doing the same thing which you are doing from past five years you will get the same results you have to raise your standards in every single thing whatever you are doing so please raise your standard is again it is by tony robbins and yeah i like this raise your standards even i have a poster of it raise your standards whatever you're doing try to raise your standards change your surrounding the next thing is change your surrounding surrounding as in what i mean i'm not saying you to go and you know go for some other workplace or change your job no no Change of surrounding means I'm talking about the people you are spending time with, right? Seek for mentorship. Very important because each and every one of us need a guide, need a mentor. Each and every one of us, right? Because uh, this is how we have designed ourselves from a very childhood, right? As soon as uh, we grow up, we, we don't just start learning like animal kids start learning themselves this is how they have trained themselves right but our kids like i told you my kid is seven months old and we are trying to uh you know teach few things to him so we are guiding them as he grew up he'll go to nursery he'll go to school college and everywhere he'll get some guide who will help them to go to the next level so similarly uh we are trained we have uh, you know, born and we have survived like that only. So we have designed like that only. So seek mentorship, mentorship as in seek someone who can help you just to get to the next level. That's it. Not the ultimate. Like we don't want a guru which can 
take us to throughout our life to the moks or something else no we just want okay where i am right now how who can help me to get me into the next level that's it that's what you have to focus on okay and surround yourself with positivity with positive people with successful people you know uh, because today we are into even in social social media whatever you are talking with uh, whomever you are interacting with try to uh, get some people in your tribe in your community which will motivate you to you now go to the next level because like we we call this sunday mastermind because uh, this is what everyone is generally doing right now that every inner circle community whatever coach uh, coaching program they will create they will call it mastermind but what is the real meaning of mastermind where it comes from mastermind is something where few uh, intellectual people you know meet at one particular disc- they are doing some discussion okay now their whole everyone's brain get together and create a huge brain big brain that is called mastermind now when you come to that community again and again that mastermind will you know will vibrate in your frequency or you will start vibrating in that frequency and that will help you to take decision and choices in your life that is mastermind okay so when you collaborate and network with such people their mindset automatically transfers or your mindset start vibrating in that frequency only with someone else okay that's what i mean to say that's why we say you have to interact with people who who are positive who are successful who are doing something good in their life all right yeah that's it so these are the few principles definitely we are going to come up with because every week we are coming up with the things so we are going to come up with some more principles of mindset but these are the few things uh which you which can really change your life very very small baby steps all these are baby steps right you can choose pick any two three things two three points from the whole thing whole 20 minutes and write it down somewhere and please try to apply it please try to take action on it execute it implement it very 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 important all right so thank you so much if you have not uh subscribe or follow Bra- follow brain script and instagram facebook youtube you can search down brain script and all the any of these pl- platform you will get our channel please go and follow it because in all the platforms we are putting some knowledge we are putting some information and we are also trying to go to the next level now we are also raising our standards so you are going to get definitely uh, the great resources over there as well thank you so much for being with me 